Hi, my name is Chris Davis and welcome to my kitchen in South Nutfield where I'm going to hopefully show you how to make some delicious cauliflower soup this morning. Um, my take on cauliflower soup because during these hard times we haven't got everything in the kitchen, we haven't got other things available. So we're going to use what we can to make this soup. And when I made the soup, I'm going to take it next door to give my neighbour a little uh, try. Right. Let me just show you what we're going to what the ingredients we've got today. I found some cauliflower um, in the fridge. It's about 600 grams. Uh, we're going to use it all parts of it, including the the green bits. I also found some nice celeriac. Well, it's not so nice. It's quite old, but I'm using this instead of celery because celery is uh, what is required for this recipe. We have an onion, two cloves of garlic two fresh bay leaves from the kitchen, from the garden rather, uh, a, a little bit of nutmeg, some chicken stock which I've, I've, um, I've not using, not making, I bought it, and in here we've got some cheese. Now use whatever cheese you've got, it doesn't matter whether it's cheddar, it doesn't matter whether it's, mine is a mixture of cheddar and leodan because that's all I've got in the fridge today. Salt and pepper, some mustard, and in a very nice NCL Tours mug, some milk and water mixed and some butter. So in a minute, uh, what equipment do I need? I need a nice blender, a grater, some sharp knives, my trusty pan, my copper pan, which I'm going to cook in today. And in a minute, we're going to go over there and do the preparation. board and I'm ready to get the ingredients ready to put in the pan. The first thing I'll do is just chop up the celeriac uh, into small pieces. Really it depends on what, it doesn't really matter what shape it is because you're going to puree the soup but the smaller the better because it cooks a bit quicker. So that goes into the pan. Now I'll do my onions. Again with the onions it doesn't matter about uh, doing any fancy footwork or any fancy dan. Just Slice your onions as fine as you like and again they go into the pan like so. Just finish the second one. Okay that's that one and a bit of garlic which I'm just going to crush a bit and just roughly chop. Again that's going to be pureed up in there, back into the pan, and in we go. Now, while I'm going to do the cauliflower, put the cauliflower, I'm just going to put the uh, stove on. Uh, not too fast, not too, because you don't want to get any colour into this at all. You know, because it's a cream cauliflower soup and it doesn't want to be any browning at all. So just saute your um, onions and garlic and celeriac but just soften them, don't get any colour to them. And meanwhile I'm just going to chop up this cauliflower. I'm going to use all of the cauliflower, you know, even the stalks as well because why not use it all? We haven't got much time, we haven't got much <laughs> time to go shopping these days and age, have we? So we're going to use up everything. I'm just going to chop that roughly, but again thin as possible so it cooks on time. And just roughly chop your cauliflower. And you don't get to use the green bits, so why get rid of it? Just use it. You've got to use everything. And that's going to go in there in a minute. So it's going to go in the pan once I've got this going. Smells now coming out of, of the celeriac are heavenly, as they say. Very nice indeed. Just softening the onions. And then we'll put the cauliflower in and then we're going to stop for a while because uh, it's going to cook a bit longer. But I'll put, I'll, I'll put the cauliflower and the stock and milk in there. It's a mixture of uh, milk and chicken stock. It's about 750 mils in total but again 
it's entirely up to you what you put in. If you want it too thick, too thin, whatever. I'm going to add the cheese later on. So it's going to shake. Right, I'm going to put in the cauliflower. Every last bit we can get in. Use it all up. Green bits stalk the lot. We're going to cook it now for about, I'm going to guess about 15 to 20 minutes when it's ready. It'll be fantastic. Back again, I'm just adding the stock to the milk and then we're going to add the milk and water and stock into the um, pan along with the two bay leaves that I picked out of the garden this morning so they can go in. The bay leaf goes in and then comes the rest of the stock. All of it, as much as you can get into it. There you go. Oh, the chicken stock as well. That's going to cook down now for about 15 to 20 minutes until everything is nice and soft. And we're ready to uh, puree. And now for the puree. <coughs> Smells delicious. Now they always say, isn't it? the proof of the pudding is in the eating so here we have in our bowl uh, cauliflower soup or over like call it creme du barre look at how beautiful it is it looks super with a bit of greenery on top looks even better if you have a bit of cheese or cheese toast on top let me just taste it that is fantastic super you're gonna love it my take cauliflower soup creme du barre have a nice day. Come back and see you soon. Bye.